Elda. So I'm explaining to you kind of from the beginning, uh, looking at all my YouTubes and my um, my YouTubes and my old songs, what uh, what this story is all about. So we're gonna start with the dog. Um, you know, it's funny today. I saw a uh, an article where somebody said, and I marked it in my in my Facebook. Uh, I think I hid it in my Facebook, but I saw an article where somebody used. Uh, it's all about this uh, the doctor that molested all these uh, Olympic uh, uh, Nasser. This guy Nasser, you know what I'm talking about? It's this doctor that molested all these. Well, the the judge. Is saying I don't have a dog in this fight. It's a saying in America. Well, I have a dog in this fight. Subi do in my song. So I I I I'm only bringing I'm only referencing that article because the judge in the Nasser case said uh, I don't have a dog in this fight. But I have, and that means when you don't have a dog in this fight, means you don't care about the fight. Well, I care about this fight. And I have a dog, Scooby Doo. <laughs> what do you think about Scooby Doo? I have we have Scooby Doo in our fight. Are you happy? Mm -hmm. We have a good fight, Alda. We have a good fight. Scooby Doo is a dog. We have a dog in this fight. You should be happy, Alda, because that means we are strong. I need strong woman. I'm strong, strong man. I have I have a dog in this fight. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> She's like, yeah, okay. Alright. Well, you know, Elda Elda's good is good woman. And she's strong too. So I'm I'm confident. So uh we don't know each other for that long. That's why I have to explain to her all the story and that's what I'm doing right now. So that's what this video is all about. <laughs> Luckily, uh, the other day, uh, we freed up all that memory, remember, the other night? So we can record for probably half an hour right now, so we can tell a long story with this. So. <laughs> luckily. Luckily, luckily. By, by mistake, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> luckily by mistake. All right, so in 2002, I wrote this song we're about to hear, and where I mentioned Scooby-Doo, where I have... A dog in this fight. Mm. We have a dog in this fight. Scooby Doo is the name of the dog. So let's listen to the song. That's how the Italian version of it goes. This is a translated song from Tutto Cutugno, the Italian. I was lived in Connecticut, near New York. I lived in New Jersey, in Philadelphia too, the area. I went down to Florida, then I went to Seattle. I had never been to LA or Hollywood too. I said that was my next step to hang out. The dog in this fight. 
is Scooby Doo. Okay, enough of that. Now, uh, this is why uh, the next song with my previous uh, girlfriend that I tried to uh, have the Raimondos, the, 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 the band, the Raimondos, with. Uh, cool. I'm glad everything is all around. It's a little easier. It's easier to, to make this little video explaining all these things when I can point right around the room. And, and see and show things like here's the dog in the fight scooby dooby 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 doo anyway uh, <clears throat> there's a dog in this fight I have a dog in this fight and uh, talking about dogs anyway what what I, it, it's gonna be and in the end of this uh, video you'll see it's besides the point uh, I'm actually going to be showing uh, more things here but uh, the song starts like this. It started about me taking the next step. It was my next step, hanging out with Scoop. I, you know, it's ironic because I made that up. I wasn't even thinking of it when I wrote it and all that. I was alone doing, writing the songs. So I think, ironically, I said, I'm going to be hanging out with Scooby-Doo, which is a cartoon character. A dog. So, you know, I was thinking, you know, not, not a lot of people were helping me. Uh, that woman, Diane, that I was with at the time. So I said, I, uh, maybe someday I will end up in Hollywood by myself at this rate. And that's what I was thinking. And that's why I wrote all that. And that's what happened. That's really what happened. Um, then uh, many years later, when I came here uh, and tried to be in L.A., uh, things didn't work out as well as, as I would have liked, but I ended up uh, living near there in Pomona the past three years, in fact, or so. I lived in Pomona, and I had a girlfriend at the time, before the wonderful Elda, who uh, we were planning to get married. Uh, we, we have been talking about it. Marriage is in the cards, is in the talks. Right, Elda? Yeah. 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 She's like this. Yeah. She just went like this too. Anyway, so Alda is just thinking about it. And she's, she's just shaking her head right now. She just went like this. She's like, oh my God, what am I going to do with this guy? I don't know. Some girls have said that about me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm shaking. Alda, what are you going to do with this guy? I don't know. She, she doesn't know. And I don't blame her. It's all too fast, too soon. So we, we have to take it slow. Otherwise, we're both going to have a heart attack at the end of the, uh, one of these days. Talking about all this stuff and thinking about all this stuff. It's so complicated. But anyway, uh, it's supposed to be simple, you know? I'm trying to make it simple. Yeah. I was trying to make something simple. The, uh, that's the other iron of it. And it, it turned out to be so complicated. But anyhow... Uh, with this ex-girlfriend uh, a few years ago, uh, I wrote this song, which I'm going to show you right now, uh, called You Must Be Scooby-Doo. And I was trying to show Elda right now, telling her the story of this whole thing. Uh, and that's where we're at right now. That's why, uh, the, of this intro. Uh, that's why the, the, the reason for this whole intro. We're going to show Scooby-Doo because Elda has two very cute dogs. Here's one. He's passed out, maybe in a coma right now. Is he in a coma? He's sleeping. He's just sleeping. And, uh... <laughs> I think that's funny. I think... Elda, I think what's funny is your reactions, that's all. Like, Elda and I, we, we're making a joke, and, and we, we all sum it up with a joke that my father, Franco, used to say, which is we have kind of a similar reaction about things, and that's why I think we get along well, and maybe we're going to get married. Right, Elda? Because what we say at the end of, of this whole thing is, uh, bravo. <laughs> bravo. <laughs> exactly. We'll have to talk about that later. Maybe we'll write a song about that. About bravo. You know, yeah, we should. Like, eventually we bravo. should just be like, write a song like going, yeah. bravo. <laughs> Remember, the, you know what's even funny about that is that, is that uh, uh, Italian artist, Patti Bravo. Her name is Bravo. 
too. That was even funnier. I showed you that song, uh, that that song from her on, in San Remo Tanta Quattro '84, mm -hmm. San Remo '84, Patti Bravo per una bambola. Uh, we'll re we'll revisit this thought later, but um, um, for right now, remember I just said that we'll revisit this thought later. Maybe I'll have to. Uh, I'm I'm, I'm going to have to say that a lot. I think we'll revisit this thought later is actually a good thing. Is there a pen somewhere? Can we write that down so I don't forget? Like that's a, a well, very, well, yeah, that's uh, that's very good. We'll revisit this thought later is uh, probably uh, something that I have to, I'm writing it right now. Revisit with this print that doesn't have a lot of ink. Visit is it this? thought later or I'll revisit it we'll revisit it this is something I have to do and I'll explain that reason why that's important later we'll revisit that later but here is uh, this thought and this thing that we tried to do a long time ago right now and I, th I thought, you know, because of the Scooby-Doo, I, I would have said, you must be Scooby-Doo. Right? Like right now, this guy must be Scooby-Doo. But his name is Snowflake instead. <laughs> Very complicated stuff. But anyway, we have plenty of dogs in this fight. We have Snowflake. We have Scooby-Doo. We have Rocky. There's another song called Rocky about my first dog. There's plenty of dogs in this fight. Actually, I don't only have one dog in this fight. I have Rocky. I have Scooby-Doo. I have Monkey, which is the dog we're going to show you right now, which unfortunately has been lost in action. Missing in action has been MIA since the not long after the this video was made in 2016 unfortunately so that's been it's almost two years ago and uh, now we have this guy we definitely don't want to lose him right mm, yeah keep an eye on this guy because okay. he, he runs he runs all over the place he runs like crazy he runs like crazy anyway <laughs> exactly good 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 Elda. and uh, here's here's you must be scooby-doo Look how he does. Oh. Yeah. What was that? Snowflake probably can dance like that. Look at that. Because that's what I called you. Circle, 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 circle. Well, you have to go slow. Go slow, man. Let's see it. Did it stop? Was it still recording? Uh, it's going. Okay. So, that was Scooby-Doo. Uh, must be. But it was actually called Monkey. That's one of the other dogs in that fight. All right, now let's go back to YouTube and uh, look at more important um, videos. We're having technical difficulties here, and uh, that's another issue that happens a lot around here. Do you want to check your uh, phone while you're having a phone call? Uh, no big deal. I can check right now. But this is why, I don't know. I can... What was that? What was that, uh, Elda? No, Elda, there's, there's no cutting, there's no editing in this video. So it's one continuous uh, video that, uh, you know, we have no editing. We are very low budget, one handed selfie. It's a one selfie, one shot. You get one shot to tell this whole story. It's, it's going to get boring. 
There's going to be technical difficulties in it, but this is what I got to work with. Uh, what do you think about that, Ella? It's a movie. I mean, we could, we could tur turn this into a two-hour movie. If there's enough room on the uh, cell phone, I could make it into a two-hour movie. I Tell the story. But if computer crazy, you can be out of your memory. If the computer's crazy, it'll be out of your memory. Uh, Elda says her computer's crazy. Uh, I don't know if it's crazy, but uh, yeah, something like that. It's definitely not not helping us out right now. So there we go. Now it's working a little bit. YouTube and the computer. You know, it's uh, it's ironic. I mean. Uh, All this stuff. So uh, here's uh, here's the thing. There we go. As we keep going, we have more videos. And uh, the first video I actually intended to show Alda was a video that I took telling uh, Alda the story about my uh, dad and I uh, having uh, issues. <clears throat> and um, in fact. Uh, that's where I'm trying to go here with these videos. As you see, I keep going down here on the on the. Uh, there's uh, there's 700 and some odd videos uh, that I've shot since 2012. Uh, six years mm -hmm. of videos. Talk about a, a a a movie that took a long time to make, huh? Mm -hmm. Talk about a high budget movie. In the end, this whole thing could be just one movie. This is why movies take a lot of money to make. Yeah. Good ones, that is. Yeah. I think I have a chance to make a good one right here with all these things. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe that's what you know what we're we're gonna be doing with this uh, at some point. Hopefully, hopefully, I don't know if it's it's gonna be you know, and then maybe hopefully it'll be a good movie that was shot all by one guy with one cell phone pointing to his YouTubes. Maybe that's what I should put as the title of this. The Raimondos Dash. A movie shot by one guy with one cell phone. It took about six years so far. And we're not probably not done yet. But we're getting there. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know you're tired. Uh, I'm tired too of doing this thing. But um, here we go. Let's see. Uh, 2014, we're getting there. It happened in 2013, right before that. So I don't want. I want to go one page at a time here. There we go. So let me. <laughs> when I moved, they died was December, the first when I moved they died was shot on December 10th 2013 me sitting in the bathroom I don't want to play that yet because we're gonna go back to the to the one when I was talking to Franco here's me crying about my mom reading emails and stuff and she thought my mom thought my mom thought I was I was faking it I was actually crying for real here <laughs> But my mom thought I was faking it. Um, yeah. Now, a lot of people think I'm faking a lot of things, they, apparently. I don't know how you can fake six years worth of YouTubes and try to make one big movie out of it all in one shot with one cell phone and being completely serious about as, pos uh, as much as possible as you can um, about all this stuff. But whatever. I mean, it's unbelievable how... Crazy, uh, crazy, I've got discredited uh, over the years, over the years doing this thing. But that's okay. You would think, somebody would think, like, this guy is doing something that's worthwhile. Nope. Nobody and their mom, as, they're saying, as the saying goes, even cares. 
Interesting. All right, how's that? This here we go. This was the one right here. It's called uh, "Sorry I Couldn't Offer Better Accommodations." This is when I was talking to Franco, the one that I wanted to show you. Yeah, okay. I will watch. Okay, so Thank you, Alda. Alda is gonna watch. She's never seen my dad on video or talking or anything, and I've talked to Elder about my dad for uh, for a while now. So I'm I'm excited to show her. So there's nothing else we can do here. You're gonna go hitchhike. Uh, look, man, I ask you, please let me alone. Okay, please leave me alone. No, no, me die bad, so I don't post I'm just you off on on the highway. The, the video loads up slowly, plus I want to translate to Alda what, uh, what my dad's saying right there. So, it's funny. Hold on. So there's nothing else we can do here? You're going to go hitchhike? Uh, look, man, I ask you, please, let me alone, okay? Please leave me still alone. No, no, me die bad. You don't give me peace. Yes. So I'm just going to drop you off on the, on the highway? Anyway, just, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't offer better accommodations. The only accommodation you got is this. Shut your fucking mouth. The only accommodation. Shut your fucking mouth. This is this is Franco, classic Franco right here. Perfect Franco, beautiful Franco. One more so time. The only do. accommodation you gotta offer. Uh, Let's see what it says. Man, I ask you, please let me alone. Okay, please leave me still alone. No, no, me die by so I don't post this stuff. You don't give me peace, man. Pop. Just gonna drop it on the highway. Anyway, just, just leave me alone. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't offer better accommodations. The only accommodation you got is this. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry, I could offer better accommodations. So, uh, so the reason why this is important is unfortunately uh, a few days after that, Franco and I got into a spat, uh, we'll call it that, and I gave him $5 and kicked him out of the house, to make a long story short. So, um, in the end, Franco, for several months, was missing in action, and I got, I felt guilty. I started writing on Facebook, if you look at my Facebook records, you probably will see that. So, Facebook has this record. YouTube has all these records, and Facebook got all these records. So, all this story is backed by YouTube and Facebook. Um, because I went on Facebook and I started talking about it. I was like, my father is missing. I haven't heard from him. Then I called a detective. I, I tried to call the police, and I'm talking to them and looking for that. They, they could only do so much based on the story. And... Luckily, the reason why I'm talking about all this, luckily everything went fine, even though my dad had to do whatever he had to do to survive. I'm not going to go into details about that right now. That's besides this story. Because this story is about Pasadena, California, where I am right now. Franco ended up living in Pasadena, California after that. So, and working at the Pasadena Job Center. So, uh, and then he went to Italy. Now we're going to look to a video where Franco and I are talking, when I find it, about him not going to Italy and me telling him, don't go to Italy. And that's next. So here, here we go doing that. You 
I got to go back here. Like I said, technical difficulties are abound, are plentiful, plentiful here, plentiful of these fishes. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, I have an LG. This uh, this phone is an LG phone, and LG. And I it just I thought about that today when I was at work. Sounds like LG, LG, LG. Algae is what fishes eat. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let me f let me try to look for this uh, really quick so I don't bore anybody who might be interested in watching this movie. That uh, you know, there's more things here. Franco's ponds was one of the things. Franco and I I tried to shoot some videos with Franco at the time, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Anyhow, uh, I am uh, looking for, now I'm going backwards here. Am I doing the right thing? Where am I going? I want to show a video of, oh yeah, so I'm, I'm going backwards. I got to go forward. I got to show the Pasadena video a, few, a year or a year or two later. So let me do that. I was going backwards. Sorry, getting confused. Not easy to do this all on YouTube, what YouTube offers, what Facebook offers to make, to tell this story. Not easy at all. So, now, I am uh, using their services, which are free. So, for me to, for example, call this video YouTube and Facebook suck and they don't let me tell my story right. It's not going to be good. Maybe they will they will both cancel my account. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's one of the problems. So I have to do what I can do with what I have. And I don't think YouTube and Facebook suck. I think it's great that nowadays you can use these mediums for these kind of things. But as you see, it takes a long time to sort all this thing out. Maybe someday, Facebook and YouTube will uh, have better ways to, uh, to handle these kind of long, long, drawn-out stories like mine that linger, linger. Do you have to? Do you have to? Do you have to let it linger? Yes, I have to let it linger. Because I've been working on this thing for f six freaking years. Remember what I told you about linger, what that word meant? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have to let her linger. Anyway, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, this, uh, this is, with all due respect to Dolores O'Riordan, who died, the, the singer of the Cranberries. But since I wrote a song, When They Move, They Die, uh... I, uh, when I moved, they die. I had to mention that right now because it actually makes very, very a lot of sense. Not only that, but also a, uh, a, a, a guy from Coach, the, the movie Coach died, uh, this, the TV show Coach, not movie. And, uh, and uh, Franco, for example, as a joke, as a little bit of a joke, half joke, I put that Franco was my acting coach. I told Franco about all this. I showed Franco that I was doing it. He let me put it on his Facebook. I, he gave me his password and I did it. And then he left it on there. In fact, he went to Italy and he left everything on there. That he was living in Pasadena. That was an acting coach and a voice coach and a recording. Whatever. All those things that are written on his Facebook still to, to this point. But my dad doesn't know how to use Facebook very well. He only messages me from it and whatever. He doesn't even like anything that I do on the posts. I don't even know if he even looks at any of the posts that I do. So uh, that's how Franco does his Facebooking. And I don't blame him either. I mean, it's, it's complicated stuff, as you see. Anyway, as I'm going through these things here, I'm trying to uh, fast forward to the... Um, one in Pasadena where Franco and I are talking about uh, him moving to uh, Italy. In fact, I will end this after we show that. That was a good 20-minute uh, video that I want to show. Uh, hopefully, this will have that much memory in it uh, that I want to show uh, Elda 
about it, talk to a little bit about Alda, because we're talking in half Italian, half English, maybe even some Spanish, I don't know, when we're doing, when we're doing that video. So I want to show Alda about that. So here I am looking for it. Oh, no, I just clicked on the wrong thing. I clicked on the wrong thing. And God forbid you click on the wrong thing and you work in an office. Because if the boss is looking at you and you click on the wrong thing, then the boss thinks you don't know what you're talking about. So, you know, it's tricky working the computers and working in an office and doing this and that and nowadays. These are all things that are interesting in this whole story of mine. And using Facebook and YouTube, it's all very tricky. Right, Alda? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So, anyway, let's try to find the thing there that I want to show you. The YouTube video that I want to show Alda about my dad and I talking about him not going to Italy. I said, don't go to Italy. Um, well, actually, the funny thing is, now that I recall this, this video better, um, it was more about me going to uh, Ida, uh, Idaho. No, not Idaho. Iowa, excuse me. Iowa. I had a job offer in Iowa at the time that I was talking to Franco about. It was uh, exactly right about three years, uh, two years ago. Two, yeah, two years ago. At the end of 2015, right. And um, I had that uh, offer, a job offer to go to Iowa, but not for a lot of money. I think they were going to pay me uh, $18 an hour or something like that. So to go to Iowa... Where I went, I came to America. To, I came, yeah, I came to America. I came to Hollywood, to uh, to to be, uh, you know, to try to do this kind of thing that I'm trying, I'm still trying to do, as you see right now. I, you know, I really didn't really want to go myself, but things were not looking easy, you know. Uh, lately, in fact, things are not easy here. In fact, Alda and I have been talking about uh, moving to Colorado, right, Alda? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and we're trying to see if we're going to do that, but we, we try to, we're trying to stick around here and it's not easy. Um, uh, you know, Alda is, uh, the, the, the most wonderful girl I could have met since I've came to, uh, LA, maybe one of the few wonderful girls I've met in my life. And, uh, um, I, when I say met, I mean got to know well in my life, and uh, there's many wonderful girls out there, I'm sure, but she's one of the few wonderful girls I've I've got to know well in my life, and uh, I, um, you know, uh, where was I going with that? Sometimes I lose my train of thought. Because I, I feel uh, my, my, my emotions, I think, get the better of me. But uh, I'll, I'll get back to what I'm thinking here. I'm also close to, what, to, to this video that I'm looking for. But uh, yes, yeah, so as I was saying, Alda is one of the few wonderful girls that I've met in my life. And um, I, uh, you know, that I've got to know well. And uh, I feel very lucky right now. I want to be here with her. But we are struggling, is my point. We are struggling. Uh, there was another struggle previously with another wonderful girl at the time, supposedly many, many years ago, like 16 years ago or something like that. At this point, 17 years ago. Um, and there was a struggle there too. And when you're struggling and you meet a nice, wonderful girl, uh, things are not easy, and you try, you try to fight really hard to 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 make things good and 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 make things happen well for you, and, and so that you can really enjoy the time with this wonderful person that you just met. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mm -hmm. 
And so uh, uh, we're almost there here. And uh, I'm going to show Alda uh, the uh, one where I'm talking to my dad. This is a pretty good one for about 20 minutes. We're talking face to face, sitting in a uh, table in Pasadena here in a, in a market. In fact, uh, I will show you that market uh, one of these days whenever we get around there. I remember where it was more or less. I forget the exact roads and the exact place, but I remember it well because uh, I went there a few times with, with Franco and we sat in that market, in the bench in that market. And I brought my guitar and I'm singing my guitar in front of him and I'm talking this and he got all embarrassed. My dad gets embarrassed sometimes when I'm playing guitar in front of people. He also gets pissed off when I'm playing guitar and he's trying to sleep. So it wasn't easy to play guitar around Franco, obviously, which was another reason why I played drums when I was younger. You know, people tell me, you know, you a drummer, you know, you should be, no, I want to play guitar now. You know, I play drums and I make it as a joke so I don't have to eat, hit Franco in the head instead, you know, with these or whatever, or maybe a bunch of, a, a bat instead of a drumstick. Uh, you know, that's why I played drums when I was younger. But uh, that's because Franco's tough to talk to. I mean, Franco is all right. Other than that, he, uh, I know why Franco, um, was tough to talk to so uh franco is okay in my book nowadays in fact he is friends with me on facebook i talk to him he messages me he understands why i tell him what i tell him everything's good i mean you know he gets pissed off but uh, uh again that's what that's the way he is that's fine it's sad that franco and i couldn't get along better in our life because we could have done a lot more uh, better things if uh, if we got along better, but uh, I'm not gonna blame it all on Franco, but uh, um, it wasn't easy for me to uh, be uh, uh, his son either. Let's put it that that way. Right, Elda? Yeah. Yeah. Elda is about to fall asleep now because I'm, she's so interested in this. She's uh, she's like, <laughs> I'm hypnotizing her into a coma. Yeah. I think pretty soon. <laughs> Don't die, Elda. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> she's trying. <laughs> I don't want to hypnotize you into a coma here. Uh, tell, uh, showing you this thing. I'm, I I I screwed this up. I went back and forth here, and I'm trying to find this thing and I'll get there I'll get there it's there 2015 there we go October okay so that's where I was going wrong I have to go back one more here to 13 13 what a great number that is 13 let's, let's focus on 13 here for a second and the number 13 the year I came to uh, America 13 years old a couple of other interesting things up in on the number 13 and Friday the 13th too for me that's another story I must be such a lucky guy uh, but anyway Lucky Baldwin's there's a bar Lucky Baldwin's in Pasadena uh, th there's a few of them uh, we should go to it uh, and have a few drinks there uh, one of these days would you would you go with me on a date to Lucky Baldwin's if I invited you there and I had the money to pay for a few beers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds like I got a good date planned. Hey, I'm I'm a lucky Baldwin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Look, look, we're we're basically there. I think it's right there here on this page. I want to say for sure. All that got it. This is also what the funny thing about this is that. Uh, this thing is so interesting, Alda. You're falling asleep. So can you imagine what kind of a good, exciting movie? This one long thing. <laughs> you think this could be a, a blockbuster movie, Alda? If we shot it like this, with one, uh, like this? You think a lot of people would watch it? Uh, some people, they like to watch tragedy. Tragedy. Weird things. <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> tragedy. 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 Comedy. Some people they like to watch tragedy comedy, especially Italian people, right? 
Да, 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 Okay, finally, I got it. This is the one. Gosh, man, it took so long. I just have to go by the name. I called it Due Diavolacci, which in, in, in Italian means like two two little devils. Two, not little, but like two, devil, two devilishes. Two devilishes type dudes. Just was trying to make a funny joke about this thing. So it's the Raimondos do it Wilachi. So the thing is, is that some of these uh, YouTubes are all hidden. So you really have to know the, the URL. So you could, you could freeze it right there and watch it. If you see this on video and look for it, if you typed all this stuff in the right way, you might be able to get to it. I don't know because sometimes you just have to give out the exact link. If you type it, it doesn't even work, I think. So YouTube really makes it easy, doesn't it? Or Facebook. Well, like I said, this is what this is all about. Uh, maybe I should say something like Facebook and YouTube don't make it too easy to take a, to to tell a long ass story like mine. But what what else are you gonna expect? They only let you shoot little videos, and they only let you post little posts. You know, that's what their thing is all about. So obviously, you know. I'm barking up the wrong three, tree, as they say, by by complaining about that too much. Here's Franco and I, and enjoy this video. Look at him, he's, he's tree. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. This guy will load up. Yeah, you did. 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 Yeah, you did good right when you did the camera. Yeah, you did good right when you did the camera. Yeah, yeah, you did good right when you did the camera. Yeah, you did good right when you did the camera. Oh my God, this thing is taking forever just to load up. But uh, if it's gonna be like that, I'll, I'll just uh, I'll, I'll put the volumes all the way down. Let's see what happens. Wow. Well, it's taking a while because it's an 18-minute video. So let's uh, let's just wait to load up, and then I would like uh, my my wonderful Elda here to enjoy it while um, she likes to see things about Franco. <laughs> Elda, why do you like Franco so much? Because he likes he always saying bravo. Because he always saying bravo. What else? <laughs> his birthday. When is his birthday? On 31st July. And when is your birthday, Elda? 30th. She was born on the 30th of July, and Franco was born on the 31st, which is really ironic. And, and Elda, what city do you live in? No. Yeah. Pasadena. Pasadena, which is the same city where my father left uh, be uh, America from before uh, he was going to Italy, where he's now. So I think that's interesting. Do you? Mm, yeah, me too. All right, let's watch this. I think it's loading up a little bit better. Hold on. Right when you did the camera, because you didn't put your finger down here, right? Yeah, good. Uh, anyway, so, look. Yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, I got to do my best. Yeah, you did good right when you did the camera because you didn't put your finger down here. I had the two, uh, the two uh, hats, uh, you know, the best hat and the, and the thing. I wore the best hat and I and he actually we have uh, I have I have this hat too because we have I bought two hats. I gave him one of them and he wore it all the time. He loved it, so he's always wearing it. Uh, and uh, and I have uh, the thing. Another thing about hats, I, ironically. Whoa, good thing this is still recording and nothing broke. Uh, I really think that the, the thing about hats is that uh, I dropped it. <laughs> I dropped the, the, the cell phone. And, uh, uh, so sorry about that. Uh, must have made a big noise. Uh, uh, the thing about hats is that when I left Connecticut in 1998, I ended up living in a town called Hatfield in Pennsylvania. So I have this thing about hats, I guess, too, because of that. That was the first apartment I got on my own. 
after leaving Connecticut and my first wife. My first and only wife so far. Now, there is rumors brewing about that I might get married again. Do you know anything about that, Elder? Yeah, I heard something. You heard something? Who, who, who would I marry? Oh, he was joking that you're dating somebody. And who is that? Uh, I, I think it's a girl. <laughs> really, really, really? Why would why would it be a guy, Aldo? I don't know. So, you know we live in in LA. So. And uh, is this uh, is this person? Uh, you think she 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 or he will marry me? How are you so sure about that? I don't know. Because I just kind of think that you're a good guy, so many people want to marry you. Many people. Many people. Thank you. I don't know how many. Apparently, a lot of people don't think I'm that good. I'm over here all alone. But um, <laughs> hopefully, yeah. Hopefully somebody will, and, and others, eventually will think I'm good. Let's keep watching this wonderful video, the Raimondos do it the Diavolacci. Anyway, so, look. Yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, I gotta do my best to make some money, you know? And, uh, so, uh, the best money that I, uh, that I came up with, I told you, or to go to Iowa over there. Okay. I told you the money, right? Okay, my, uh, yeah, you did good, right, when you did the camera, because you didn't put your I finger told him the money, I told him the money, the money was 18 years, uh, eighteen dollars an hour, and he's like, that's crap, you're crazy, and it was right around Christmas time, it's like,